Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember that anytime you work on an appliance, make sure that it is unplugged or the circuit breaker is turned off so there is no chance of electrocution. Today I'm going to show you how to install a dryer door switch kit for a Maytag dryer. It's a really easy job that only requires a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 5 16th inch nut driver, and a few minutes of your time. When you open the package, you'll get one new door switch kit. The main reason why you'd be replacing the dryer door switch kit is if the dryer won't start or if it turns off during use. Start by opening the dryer front door so you can access the two Phillips head screws that hold on the front panel assembly. Next, remove the two Phillips head screws that attach the dryer door hinges to the main body of the dryer. Lift up slightly to disengage the hinges from the dryer cabinet, then remove the door assembly from the dryer. Pull on the top edges of the outer panel to separate it from the retainer clips. Then tilt the front panel forward and remove it from the dryer assembly. Use a 5 16 inch nut driver to remove the screws that hold the two brackets that retain the top panel of the dryer. Tilt back the top panel assembly. Then remove two of the three screws on each side that hold the front panel assembly in place. However, do not remove the two screws that are located in the cutout area. Afterwards, tilt down the panel assembly. With the front panel removed, you can now access the door switch. First, note the orientation of the wires. In our case, it's yellow, gray, and then white. Afterwards, remove the wiring harness. To remove the dryer door switch from the backside, push in on the two side tabs and then carefully push the switch forward. Here's the old door switch next to the new one. If you already have the new part, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To install the new switch, position it in the opening in the front panel, then push firmly and it'll click into place. With the new dryer switch in place, reinstall the old wiring harness. In our case, we first installed the white wire, then gray, then double yellow. With our new switch assembly in place, we can now reinstall our front panel. Thread in the four retaining screws and then use a 5 16 nut driver to tighten. With the front panel in place, we can now lower down the top and secure it. Install the two retaining clips that hold the top in position. Then we can reinstall the main front panel. Start by positioning the slots in the bottom of the panel with the two alignment tabs on the dryer cabinet. Then push in the top portion of the panel that is held by a retaining clip. Install the two door alignment tabs and then thread in and tighten the two Phillips head screws. And now we can install the dryer door. With the dryer door in place, Thread in and tighten the two Phillips head screws. Close the dryer door, 
afterwards, reconnect the power cord, and then you can take the dryer for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. And be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel.